Hi crafters, Amy here. I'm um, back to doing crafting, uh, done with the flood videos. And I wanted to share this album that I made. I watched Kathy from Paper Phenomenon, Kathy Ortez, I think her name is. I will put that um, link up on here. And uh, watched her on Ustream. And if you have not ever watched her videos or gone to any of her classes or courses, she is a riot. She's a lot of fun to to craft with, you know. She's always laughing. And so anyway, um, I liked this one, this album, because it held six by four pictures. So all the pockets. So it was a here. Oh, this one I this one kind of fell apart. Not quite right. This page is right, I think. I don't know. This was kind of confusing. Um, but anyway, you have a pocket on this side and a pocket on this side. Um, I'll put it down. Pocket here that you can slip things in. And then what I did is I put the picture corners here so whoever, you know, I would um, give this to could just, you know, slip their pictures in and then tuck any tickets or I'm going to also put some tags in here. She had tags. And then there's this pocket here on the end that you can put a large tag that also holds a 6x4 size. So each of these pockets, this can hold, I bet you could put, I bet a hundred photos in this thing. On it. <clears throat> so anyway, um, it, to if you want to know how to make it, go watch Kathy. It, it, isn't really complicated there's just a lot of pieces and what I found is that it used a lot of paper and which I mean that's okay I like this but if you're making things a lot of them you know you kind of want to use your paper sparingly and so I uh, I used one paper pack for this and I believe it was the Blossoms and Blooms. Oh, Blossoms and Butterfly Stack. That's where all of the paper came from. Was this. So, I, there's one, two, three, four, five, six pages. And then the back. Um, so, like I said, still need to do some embellishing and making the tags. This... Um, I just did a stamp and colored with some pencils and then put decoupage on top of it just to make it a little shiny and um, different. So she shows you how to cover it and I put eyelets and ribbon to tie it shut. Um, so next what I want to show you is one another one that I made that actually I made better because it was the second one I made as well as I used a lot less paper so I'll show you that one next okay this next album I made and I used well, I'll show you it was from this paper stack or paper box or American crafts the color of memories and all of the paper I used is from here This one <clears throat> made the same type of cover. This one, though, I did put brads on the binding. And here what I did was I used one sheet of paper, and I was able to fold it. Now, the, here I can either just do journaling or stick extra paper. Um, but you can see here... And now the inside of the envelopes have a paper pattern. So all of this blue with the brown and, and white flowers, that was the piece of paper that I folded. And then all I added was this paper and this paper. And then when you turn it, there's the back piece of that paper. Here is just a chunk that I used from where I cut it off. The next piece of paper I used was this pink and brown. Again, the inside of the envelopes. So I was using a lot less paper and it was a lot less dinking around. Again, I need to put tags in this one and finish it off, embellish it. But 
Um, the next piece of paper was this one. And here. And then what I did too was I tried to use the same papers here. Then the next piece of paper was this. And that. <clears throat> and this last page I added, um, I wasn't going to put it in there, but um, the spine of my book was wider. The other thing I did, oh this is good, the other thing I did on here, um, she shows you how to make these hinges, which they're great. Um, but what I did was I took pieces of ribbon and I, um, in, her, in the Ustream, she shows you how to, I can't remember what the product was, they were like those envelopes that you, that paper you can't really tear. She had that and she was reinforcing her paper hinges because after a while those cardboard hinges probably aren't going to do so well. So what I used was I used a chunk of... Okay, I'm not having really good luck with my camera tonight. First I didn't have it plugged in right and it died, you know, the battery died. Then uh, the memory card filled up. So I, you know, it quit recording. Okay, um, I was talking about the hinges and how I, what, um, how I reinforced them. I used this ribbon right here and it was just a chunk of ribbon that I've had I don't even know where it came from so I you know never used it for anything else but something else I'm going to use for that same purpose are some of these types of ribbons my kids had gotten these over the years one is for um, great effort award and honorable mention and this is oh I caught a fish at cat oh I'm sorry I caught a fish at catfish days. Anyway, these ribbons that you get, I saved those and these would also cut up nicely and be nice hinges um, or reinforcements. So, okay, just wanted to share that with you again. If you've uh, never watched Kathy's videos, give it a chance. She's a hoot to um, craft with and uh, have a good day and thanks for watching.